All right, talking about some new fall, late fall 2016 product launches from Conestoga. They've picked up a couple of new door designs based on their market research and what they say are selling. And we want to talk to you about these three. So this one's called the Rossford. It's a mitered door. Whenever we're talking about mitered doors, it means the joint is coming in like you'd see traditional picture frames made where the joint runs this way instead of mortise and tenon or cope and stick as it's sometimes called where it goes up and down. So this door is kind of pretty because what seems to be happening in the industry is a trend towards simplicity. People are trying to get away from a lot of curves and concave convex looks and profiling. They just want simple beads, simple architecture, very clean lines. Deviating from shaker though. I think people are looking for a little more busyness than shaker but not so busy as, as our traditional raised panel stuff looks. So this door uses a slightly wider framing. I think it's two and three quarters wide with two little beads. I'm gonna get that on an angle. You got a kind of a hump here and then a flat space for hardware and then a hump that matches on the outside. And that's a critical point because a lot of the mitered doors Conestoga was selling tons of six, eight, ten years ago had uh, humps. They called it a pillow effect, but it had a kind of a hump in the middle here. But hardware didn't like that. If you had a hardware with a big base, it wouldn't sit on that hump well and would kind of rock around. This flat is much more in vogue right now, much easier to design with, much easier to pick hardware and handles around. So that's a nice looking door, uh, not available inset, not to my knowledge anyway. Almost all the miter doors are not available with inset and uh, you wouldn't really want to fight that anyway. So this is going to be overlay, traditional overlay only. That's your first door and that by the way is shown in Conestoga's crystal white with a coffee glaze. So once the glaze is put on it's kind of a uh, warm, mellow white. Second door called the Wellston. This one's shown in Conestoga's new nightfall finish, uh, which is a really dark finish, um, more black and charcoal looking than their old espresso, which they still have. The espresso had more of a red tint to it. And this door is a, is a spin off of one of Conestoga's all time top sellers called the CRP 10875. Again, that was a door that had a radius or a, a, a bead on the outside, and then it had that pillow effect, a bulge in the middle. And every manufacturer of cabinetry had a version of that door, and they still do. And then it would roll over and kind of ripple down with like a triple uh, step down here. So it was a very pretty, very nice door, but that pillow effect was causing hardware issues. So Conestoga just said, okay, we'll make that flat. So this is now flat, but you still have these outside profiles. So it's a little more busy, basically the same door as this, but it has this little triple ripple effect instead of just the bead ending. Again, I think it's two and three quarter or two and 13 sixteenths framing on that. So it's a little wider than your traditional uh, framing. But once again, it's only available on overlay, not inset. Last door, this one's shown on Conestoga's new nickel, which is kind of a light gray finish. Uh, this is on maple. And this one's called the Crawford. Um, Crawford has two and three quarter traditional, I'm sorry, two and a quarter traditional Conestoga uh, framing sizes. And it's just got this little quarter inch step down and maybe a quarter or three eighths of an inch step over and then back down to the panel. So you have this little flat spot. Um, there are some limitations with this door on painted and painted and glazed finishes. I'm not going to segue into that here. We've got another video uh, that talks about that. You'll want to watch that before you order this door in a paint or a paint with a glaze. You'll want to understand some of these limitations and you'll want to order a sample. But again, very clean lined, with or without a glaze, you can use it, but it's got a, a lot of design interest right now from people who are trying to go a little more elaborate than shaker uh, without going too, too crazy. So uh, consider these doors when you're designing. Uh, talk to your sales rep, they'll be happy to get you a sample. Thanks for watching.